Hi, I'm Dr. Drew Hanks with the Smarter Lunchrooms Movement and the Cornell Center for Behavioral Economics and Child Nutrition Programs. Right now I'm going to give you a brief summary of the data you can collect in your school lunchroom. But I want you to remember this principle. Data are the information we use to make statistical inferences about behavior in school lunchrooms. Now what types of data can you collect? In our research we collect sales data, we collect production records, and we collect tray waste records. Sales records help us identify the particular items students are taking in the lunchroom. The nice thing about sales data is that we can track individual student behavior over time. Production records help us see what types of foods and how much the cafeterias are producing and how many servings they're actually giving out on a daily basis. And tray waste records help us know how much of the food students are actually eating so we can determine how much of the fruits and the vegetables and such are actually going into their tummies. And over the next week, I invite you to think about your, the data available in your cafeteria and in what format they come in. In what format do your sales records come in? Are they electronic? Can you get them in a, in a spreadsheet? In the production records, what format do you keep those in? And also think about how in the world you could actually collect tray waste. In what setting, how would you do that in your own cafeteria? Now, for more support and information on these topics, please see www.smarterlunchrooms.org.